So you're pretty ambitious. Yes. <laughs> When I first had the idea to open a restaurant to sell rice oil, my family and a lot of my friends said I'm crazy because this kind of food, they usually sell it in a dim sum place like a small dishes. Nobody opened a restaurant to sell only this kind of food. So when I was a kid, my mom walked me to the market so we had champagne for breakfast every morning. I never found a rice oil that tastes like it my hometown taste, so that's why I had the idea to start this kind of business. Oh, nice. A lot of the restaurants they, that sell chang funds, they use the rice powder. But us, we use the fresh rice, we soak the rice for almost uh, six hours. So every day we need to stock up like 80 pounds of rice for one store and then we use the grinder to grind it. There's a lot of machines that can grind the rice, but it's all high speed, so when the high speed grinding the rice, it heat up a little bit, it changes the texture of the rice oil itself. So when you use the stone grinder, it don't heat up the rice, it keep it in the right temperature. So I import that from China. We use the fresh rice butter to cook the rice oil, so it make it like more healthier and fresher. And then we steam the rice roll one minute, and then it's ready to roll it up. You don't see like that. I'm from Taishan. So I came here like 10 years ago. When I first came here, I started like high school. And then after I graduated, I tried a lot of jobs. I had an entertainment group before. I host wedding. I always want to start a business. The Rice World's idea is keep me like non-stop thinking about it. That's why I had a hot desire to just fly back to China to learn how to make it. Even in China, all the rice oil plates, they have their own recipe. They all taste the difference. Are yours better? No. <laughs> when I want to open this business, I had really high expectation first three months. Nobody know what it is, so nobody want to give a try. Make the rice bowl, we always get fresh ingredients from local market, day by day. So we have pork, beef, shrimp, and more veggie, like scallion, cilantro, corn, lettuce, and bean sprout. Are your parents here? My parents here. They have it every day. <laughs> My mom's always said, the rice bowl right now we have is already like perfect. But for me, it's always like 70% are perfect for me, so I always try to improve. Let me know when I'm ready. Yeah. In China, we used to serve the rice bowl with only soy sauce and some chili oil. But right now, we have hoisin sauce and peanut sauce. When the peanut sauce goes with the soy sauce, it tastes a lot different. So. Business. It's not only like selling food, it's more like you need to treat the customer as a friend, respect them. After when I get the business running, so a lot of Cantonese people, they came here and they always bring a friend, not, not from Guangdong. So they're always happy to tell them that this kind of food is like what we had in China. My dream with Joe's Steam Rice Oil is not only bringing the rice oil to let more people know about it. That's a lot too many great food in China that I want to introduce to people in New York City here. Open a business is really easy, but keep the business running is the hardest part. So just keep it up, no matter when you lose money or anything happens, just keep the business running.
it take me a long time to like let more people know about it. But right now we're working like taking small step by step. Right now we have four locations. When I think about rice oil, it makes me feel feels like home. Everybody facing the same problem, so we just had to sit, sit tight, and we cannot give up at this time. So we had to like just hope this golden go fast, and then we can get back to normal life. It's happier than before because I feel great working again. I don't know how to describe it, but a lot of people they willing to come out to like just for supporting the local business. When the pandemic over, I can travel everywhere. But I just miss my family so much.